A week after D.C. police shot and killed a man in a deadly confrontation, we're seeing the body camera video. Two officers were injured. One of them shot. He graduated from the academy just weeks before. Tonight, there are questions about whether he was hit by friendly fire. Stephanie Ramirez is breaking the story down. She's live outside of D.C. police headquarters with the details. Steph. Sure, Jim, and that's not all. The father of the man killed here is calling on police to release all of the body cam video involved today. Police released the footage connected to two body camera videos connected uh, there to the officers who actually fired in this situation. Now, the family got to review that video yesterday, giving the green light for that to be shared today, but they do not believe what is seen actually shows 33-year-old Arthur Porter raising a gun and shooting at police. If the video does show that he shot first, what happens then? Well, at least then I can accept the fact that the reason why. But from my, from my point of view right now, I can't see other than being shot in the back first. That's all I can see. Now, D.C. police tell us they responded to a 911 call a little before 5 last Thursday evening to the 2900 block of Gainesville Street Southeast for an armed man arguing with two women. Police body cam video released today shows Porter take off running after an officer tries to speak with him. At least two officers then chase him in between buildings. Police claiming Porter raised the gun and fired at the officers. Video. DC police explained that the officer who shouting I'm hit actually ended up not being shot but did suffer injuries from a fall. In that same video is where we're told the rookie officer is the one seen running in between Porter and the firing officer as they're allegedly shooting back and forth with one another. Both officers go down at one point but appear to keep moving. Police officials say the rookie officer shot was struck in a non-critical area toward the midline to the back of his body. Ask if this was due to friendly fire. Police officials are only saying that the investigation is ongoing. Porter then exits toward Naylor Road. We're not showing all of it, but police claim he again raises a gun, shooting at another officer who's now running toward the 33-year-old from his right. That officer returned fire, fatally shooting him. There appears to be a gun seen on the ground after the 33-year-old falls. Assistant Chief Leslie Parsons spoke to the officer's heroics running toward gunfire that day, and he gave this response when asked about the concerns raised by Porter's father. No, I mean, my message to the community is the same thing I've said before. Um, any, any loss of life in, in our communities is, is tragic, not only for the family, but for the entire community. Uh, and, and I definitely give my condolence to the family. Now, the names of the two officers who did fire have been released. We have those names and the full video on fox5dc.com. They are on administrative leave pending uh, investigation. Now, on the question of why more video is not being released here, when well, we have seen that done before, particularly in the Park Police involved shooting from last April, where even the officers who did not fire their body camera video was released, it was explained to us today that this has to do with the provision in the law that provides a process where the mayor can have any video released if it is a matter of great public interest. Guys.